Hello guys, today we're gonna talk about gels and magmas. So, what are gels? Gels are, um, are semi-solid systems in which there is interaction, either physical or, or covalent, between the colloidal particles within the liquid vehicle, or it is uh, basically a semi-solid dosage form in which the um, particles are um, suspended suspended or interconnected in a loose network in a liquid uh, solvent or vehicle now gels uh, they are um, an excellent formulation for several roads they are useful as liquid formulations in through for the roads of oral topical vaginal and rectal and uh, gels can be clear when all the particles in them are completely dissolved in the dispersing The vehicle that is used in the formulation of gel, it can be aqueous, hydroalcoholic, alcohol-based or non-aqueous. Now the gelling agent. Gelling agent is the material that is used to thicken or stabilize the liquid solution. And what they do is basically they dissolve in the liquid, the solvent, as a colloid mixture and it forms the internal structure and as a result we get a gel. Other uh, some common gelling agents that are used are acacia, pectin, starch, tragacanth, xanthan gum, alginic acid, and in animal or vegetable fats we have lard, coca butter, gelatin, bentonite, vegum, carboxylmethyl cellulose, polyvinyl alcohol, petrolatum, mineral oil, polyethyl gel. As you can see, all of these are the common gelling agents. Next type of gels. Gels are classified in two ways. One is on the basis of the continuous phase and second is on the basis of the nature of bond that is involved in three-dimensional solid network. So the first one we have is organogels. This is uh, in this the solid material is uh, composed of liquid organic phase and trapped in three-dimensional cross-linked network and it is usually non-crystalline, non-greasy and thermoplastic. Organogels are used in pharmaceutical industry as well as cosmetics and food industry. Second type we have is hydrogels. In, the, uh, in this we have a network of polymer chains that are hydrophilic or colloidal gel in which water is the dispersion medium. And these gels are highly absorbent and they have degree of flexibility. So hydrogels is those which consist of hydrophilic chains in an aqueous medium while Organogels have a liquid organic phase entrapped in a three-dimensional network. So it's basically the chains that are trapped or the solid particles that are trapped that makes the difference. Next, hydrogels are used as scaffolds in tissue engineering. They are also used in environmental sensitivity de uh, detector and for sustained release and also to pro, uh, provide maximum absorption and deep writing in contact lenses in, in ecg medical electrode and glue as well as dressing zero gels zero gels are the gels that are formed by removing the um, uh, vehicle or the outer uh, aqueous phase as a result we only have a network that's left so it's used in uh, DDS and as you can see here we have silica, uh, silica aerogel and the other is silica zero gel. You can see the difference in zero gel it's only the network there's no aqueous it's not bulky. Next classification of gels based on bond that is involved in the three dimensional solid network. So first we have is uh, dispersed solids and the second is hydrophilic polymers that is type 1 and type 2. So dis uh, dispersed solids, uh, they will go under flocculation. The nature of interaction between particles in the network, it may vendor, it may be van der Waals or electrostatic interaction. For example, uh, L hydroxide gel or choline. Next, hydrophilic polymers. 
hydrophilic polymers are dispersed within appropriate aqueous phase the type 1 in type 1 we have a reversible system with the three dimensional network formed by the covalent bonds between the macromolecules example of it is the network that is formed by polymerization of monomers of water soluble polymer in the presence of cross linking agents and type 2 is the reversible system in which the interaction occurs between the polymers by hydrogen bonding and there is tempor temporary destruction of the bonds when stress is applied and uh, there is flow in it. Next we have our magma. Magma are also two phase systems and uh, they consist of large particle size or follicles of small distinct particles and uh, some commonly known magma is milk magnesium and then another we have is bentonite magma now preparation of magmas and gels is um, basically through the same method so we have uh, here fusion method cold method and dispersion method in fusion method a uh, waxy material is used as a gelling agent and it is added to the non-polar medium and uh, we basically melt the waxy materials and that is why and so the waxy materials they melt and they are being fused with each other so that's why this is known as fusion method and then we add the drug substance and we stir it slowly until a uniform gel is formed in cold method if, uh, the water is cooled to 4 to 10 celsius and then it is placed in a mixing container and then gelling agent is slowly added to it and we mix it until the solution is formed and we keep uh, this uh, container below 10 celsius and the drug is then added in solution form slowly with gentle mixing and then we transfer it to container and allow it to warm at room temperature where it becomes a clear gel and the third method is dispersion method in this gelling agent is dispersed in water with stirring at 12,000 revolution per minute for 30 minutes and the drug is dissolved in the non aqueous solvent with preservatives and this solution is then added above the gel with continuous stirring so this is dispersion method now um, the magmas and gems they should be freshly uh, prepared and that are that is by freshly precipitating the dispersed phase to achieve a fine degree of subdivision of particles and a gelatinous character to those particles and the gelatinous per, uh, precipitate that is formed um, uh, is formed when the solutions of inorganic agents they react to, uh, to form an insoluble chemical having high attraction for water and the microcrystalline particles of the precipitate develop they strongly attract the water and uh, as a result we get a gelatinous precipitate for example preparation of aluminium hydroxide gel is when we react aluminium chloride with sodium carbonate and sodium bicarbonate other magmas and gels can also be prepared by hydrating the inorganic chemical uh, which then produces uh, the basically the internal phase and then uh, water can also be added and other agents such as propylene glycol propyl gallate hydroxyl propyl cellulose can also be used for example aluminium uh, oxide plus water results in aluminium hydroxide so examples is aluminium hydroxide gel and cremelin and aluminium phosphor gel and uh, so there is a high degree of attraction between the dispersed phase and the aqueous medium in both magmas and gels so on standing and they remain uniform and but uh, but there are chances of them settling so um, on long standing there a supernatant layer will be formed um, but we uh, with the modern shaking we can uh, again ensure a uniform mixture and so that's why it is written on the label that it should be shaken before use and uh, yeah now uses of gels gels are used as lubricant for catheters they are used as bases for patch testing NACL gel is used in electrocardiography flow uh, flow uh, sino, sino night gel is used as anti-inflammatory corticosteroid 
sodium fluoride and phosphoric acid gel is used in dental care uh, tretinoin gel is used for treatment of acne and prostaglandin gel is used intravaginal further uses of gel are that the uh, glycogelatin gels they are used as basis for med uh, medicated uh, pastilles also for formulation of supporters for example glycer glycerin supporters uh, gels are also used in hard and soft gel capsules they are also used as a solid medium for culture of microorganisms um, oral drug degradation is avoided by gels so that is why they are also used and uh, they are uh, economical and uh, they also extend the product for eco uh, economical reasons for example paints and they are also used in gel filtration and aerogels so that's it for gels i hope you guys understood and uh, please make sure to support and subscribe thank you